What's down, my people? You're not tuned in to me TV. Now, we're going to bring you all the stories about the stories that we need to bring you stories about. You feel me? So, that's what we're going to do. Some stories might be good. Some story might be tragic. But, hey, man, that's how these stories go. I don't make it up. Now, we getting into it. You feel me? So, before, look, man, bang the like button. Bang that subscribe button. You see them on the screen. Yeah, them right there. Hit the like and subscribe, man. Hit that right there. Now we about to get started with our story. Here we go again. You already know we back with another one on Me TV 1.0. You already know, man. Like and subscribe. Like and share if you care. Comment. Let me know where y'all watching from. Let me know where y'all listening from. Show me some love and give me a sub. You feel what I'm saying? You got to do it for me. You already know it for free. Now, today, we have two women out of Baton Rouge. Now, usually, I say the names and, and, you know, give names and details of that nature. I'm still going to give details, but this is a peculiar situation because they say they didn't name these women for their own protection. Now... This is this my thing. This is a story that involves kids. And how are you trying to save these women names because you try and protect them? They didn't protect these kids, especially in a situation like this. Like I seen this with a lot of stories that I do with women and they choose not to say their names. Why are y'all not saying these women names? But in any case that a male is in, They'll say the male name, no matter what type of case that it may be. I don't get this. I read article after article looking for these women's names, and I didn't find it nowhere. That's crazy. And this is not the first, and this is not the last time this probably going to happen. But anyway, to get on to our story, the two women that you see on your screen, they left eight kids home alone. Yes, yes, you heard that right. Eight kids home alone while they went to the casino. And the kids was ranging from, if I'm not mistaken, three months all the way up until 12 years old. And they left these kids home. Mind you, they're in Louisiana, right? And so they went to the casino. Now, we we don't know if the fathers are present Obviously, they're not. It don't seem like they're present. We don't know how negligent these women is. And these women names should be brought up because it's no way this happened. But anyway, it was a 10 year old little girl and a 12 year old little boy. Or it might have been a 10 year old little boy or a 12 year old little girl. Either way, these two kids are now charged with unaliving. Yes, yes, this is what I'm saying. They are charged with unaliving a three-year-old little girl, a three-year-old toddler. Yes, man. They left eight kids home alone, ranging from the ages of three months to 12 years old. I might be off. It might be uh, 11 months. I don't think it was three months. So excuse me for the miss, you know, the miscommunication, uh, misspeaking, but how, however it went, the little girl was found unresponsive. This is the picture that I found that I could find. I don't know if this is exactly the little girl, but this is the picture that's tied in with this case that everybody's speaking about. I'll read the report to you guys later, man, and later on in the video, man. If you can't like it, shit, man, so we could bring more awareness to situations like this, man. More more bad parenting is going on all over as we see our friends, as we see our family, as we see a lot of different people. They take the time to, how could I say, or they don't take the time to take care of their kids and hold their responsibilities near and dear to their heart. Like, how can going to a casino be more important than watching these kids? You feel me? Like, I don't understand and also, 
when you gone and you have all those kids in the house like that, why don't you have inside cameras so you could communicate with your kid and so you could always see what's going on in your house? Having inside cameras is a great idea when you have little kids. But nevertheless, when the two women got home, right, the police was already waiting. Police was waiting, waiting to arrest them once they arrived. But I'm about to read this report to y'all so y'all can know exactly, exactly what's going on instead of just going by my words. Two children and two adults have been charged after officials say a three-year-old girl was beaten to death in Louisiana. Around 3.45 a.m. Monday, February 12th, the East Baton Rouge Sheriff's Office received a call from a juvenile saying a child in the home was not breathing and there were no adults there, according to a news release. When authorities arrived at the home, they saw a vehicle pulling up with two women inside. According to the affidavit, one woman in the vehicle was the mother of the three-year-old who was found unresponsive inside the house, officials said. And just think about it. You pulling up to to this house where one of your kids claimed the babies, one of the babies is unresponsive. And why is this baby unresponsive? Because you left him home with seven other kids that's not responsible for nothing. But we about to carry on. We about to read the second part. Officials say the mother and the other woman told them they were at the casino. Inside the house, officials say they found eight children from the from 11 months old to 12 years old left alone. Paramedics treated the three-year-old and she was taken to the hospital. At the hospital, detectives learned she had multiple bruises and abrasions on her body and a brain bleed. A brain bleed? Like, come on. They also say they found bruises on a four-year-old girl who was also found at the home. So not only was it a three-year-old little girl that lost her life, it was also a four-year-old little girl. But we'll proceed on, proceed on. On February 14th, the three-year-old died as a result to her injuries. Officials say detectives learned that the two other children, 10 years old and 12 year old, were responsible for the victim's injury, according to the officials. A case like this is devastating, Sheriff Sig Gucho said. My heart breaks for the, this child lost too soon, and I pray for others involved. Please call law enforcement immediately if you ever aware of abuse and neglect or des- desertion of children. The other woman who was at the scene is the mom of the juvenile suspected and the aunt and the other officials, accord- according to other officials. I'm sorry. Yeah. So now you got to deal with this. I don't know the relation of these women, but you have to now deal with your so-called friend child taking your child's life. Now, this is it right here. While interviewing one of the juvenile suspects, his mom repeatedly told detectives that she and the victim's mom knew knew of her nephew's violent behavior toward other children and often observed bruises on kids when they were left with him, according to court records. She told detectives that the victim's mom saw the bruises on at least one of her, her daughters but ignored her children's pleas for help. According to the arrest records, McClatty News is not naming the suspect or the victims to protect the identities of the children. The two juveniles accused of harming a three-year-old were arrested, charged with simple battery and second-degree murder. They were booked into East Baton Rouge Juvenile Detention Center, as they should. But as far as them trying to protect the names, y'all wouldn't think about protecting these goddamn children. Like, what the fuck, dude? What the fuck for real? Y'all was not thinking about protecting these children. So why should they even be protected in the least a little bit? Like, y'all talk about y'all protect the children. How? How? They didn't protect their own children, so why would you release their name? They deserve whatever comes to them, man. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous, and it makes no sense, bro. 
Y'all already see y'all witness this little man, this little dude, do this to little girls and younger kids. Boy, he needed his ass beat. What did y'all have this little dude around for him to be harming other little kids like this? And parents, parents, if you made it this far, like and care, like and share if you care. Comment and show me some love and give me a sub. You feel what I'm saying? If you made it this far, watch your kids around other kids, man. Watch your kids around other kids because these kids are unsafe a lot of the times, man. See, and this is why I don't just say black community this, black community that. We all not together because we all not the same. We are all not the same. We don't, all of us don't abide by the same understanding and the same regulations and the same morals. We don't, we don't, we don't because we saw a lot of our parents get away with this stuff and we thought we would have been able to get, get away with it leaving the kids at home. But this is what happened when you're a negligent parent. And where are the fathers, man? The fathers need to be present somewhere in these situations because I always see this women, women, women. But that's another story for another time, man. If you like what I'm posting, man, like and subscribe, man. You already know me, TV 1.0. I'll be back with another one. If you care, you already know. Like and share. And if you show, if you want to show me some love, give me a sub. You already know me, TV 1.0, yeah.